Here's how to remove the wheel on a bike if the bike has disc brakes. So there's two different kinds of disc brakes and this is important. So if it has a cable that pulls on a lever, that's a mechanical disc brake. And then if it has a tube that just goes into it, that's a hydraulic disc brake and that contains hydraulic fluid. And there are different considerations when you're removing the wheel on a bike with disc brakes for either kind. So start with the mechanical disc brake. You just loosen up the skewer and then I'm turning on the back, I'm loosening up the nut on the other end to give it enough room to slide out. And once that's loose enough, it'll just drop right out of the calipers. Uh, you fix your flat tire. And then going back in is exactly the same. You just want to make sure that you get the disc in between the brake pads. And then you tighten the skewer back up. And there's really nothing that can happen with your disc brakes that's a problem if it's a mechanical setup like this. They just slide right in and slide right out. Just be careful sliding the rotor in that you don't damage it. Pinch it closed and you're done. To remove the wheel with a hydraulic disc is the same process, basically. You loosen up the skewer, unscrew the nut on the back end, and then just slide it straight down like that. Now here's where the big butt comes in. If you squeeze the brake lever at all during this process, then the brake pads are going to smash together and you won't be able to get the wheel back on. So you want to just be real careful that you do not squeeze the brake lever. If you've squeezed the brake lever and they are smashed together, you can use something like a putty knife to kind of go in there and try to twist them slowly apart again. But the hydraulic pressure is going to be held holding them closed at that point. So there is a thing called a spacer that you just stick in between the pads like that. And then there's no chance of anybody squeezing it and getting it stuck. So you just keep that spacer in there while the wheel's off. And then putting it back on is the same as with the mechanical one. I'll take my spacer out. If you need a spacer, there's a link in the description. And then you just put the disc carefully between the brake pads. Tighten up the skewer, center the wheel, and lock it down. 